Yup, it's that time to review LEGO set 75332 ATST. This set has 87 pieces and is rated for ages 4 plus, but it also retails for $40. Like, what the heck? Anyway, let's start with the figures. For being as bad of a set as this is, it does have some decent figures with this ATSC driver with unfortunately no leg printing, a scout trooper, which is always nice to see, and I love the hip printing and stuff on it, and just the detail of it. And of course, Wicket over here, which it's always nice to get an Ewok in a set. We don't see him all too often. And he's actually got some nice printing and stuff on that molded piece there with the figures out of the way let's move on to the set itself starting with the uh, least disappointing of all the builds is the uh, very basic little speeder bike which is about on par with the uh, speeder bike we got in the advent calendar last year if you know what i'm talking about and yeah there's not a ton of detail to it but you can tell it's supposed to be a speeder bike so there's that i guess <laughs> then over here we have this little build for like a tree which is i mean decent i guess i could see this build being thrown in like a larger set or something like an actual atsd set as just a little side build because why not it does have a nice little play feature with the uh little catapult but it's not it's not the greatest to play features but it's always nice to get this piece this does make use of some pretty cool pieces but other than that there ain't too much to say about this little side build now on to the ugliest atst that has ever been made ever yeah <laughs> Now, what is kind of cool about it is it does have these uh, massive, like, leg pieces. But that is not enough to save this friggin' $40 set. But it's kind of a neat piece. Could be used in some unique ways, I could imagine. As in part of, like, an industrial-looking mock. And, of course, because it's a 4-plus set, it, which is also why they made those legs for it the cab is just most of it, the cab is just one big piece and there's no studs to attach your driver in there but if there were you wouldn't be able to get them out even without studs you kind of have to like fling them out sometimes because he fits very snugly in there which is fine i guess but it's just freaking it's just ugly like yeah it does have the uh little cannons on the side which aren't even accurate in any way because this isn't one side's like a rocket launcher i think and the other side's like blaster or something it i'm not entirely sure i can't remember exactly but i'm pretty sure that's what it was and the feet it has a nice printing but i guess but yeah there ain't too much to say about it other than it's ugly and horrible now overall thoughts on this set horrible never buy it for 40 bucks even at the deal that i got which was actually a really good deal it was over half off i got it for 17 bucks is still kind of an iffy but if you want to like collect lego star wars sets then and you can find it for like 15 bucks go ahead and get it it's got some nice figures and some interesting pieces i guess kind of but yeah this is definitely one to skip out especially at the 40 dollar price point that they're trying to charge for this hunk of junk like the title says overpriced and ugly this set has it all have a good one bye